grossed out. All right, well, it's gone. Hello, YouTube. We are back with the Pickup and Coffee Show. Uh, we have, uh, we got a late start. There's a little bit of craziness going on. We got Chick-fil-A going on because um, we had a marriage conference with our church that ended at around noon. Um, anyways, so it is. Oh, that's yours. One fifteen. Stop drinking my drink. Woo uh, sixty-four degrees. Uh, the sun's not really out. It came out briefly. It's now it's not. Yeah. It's like trying, but it's been kind of cloudy today. Anyways, uh, so here we are, and uh, we're heading out to Manassas, where our child is helping her aunt uh, with her pickup. Um, and that is our first stop. What is this guy doing? Really? You're breaking this far back. I know. <laughs> what? Dude, really? Wow. 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 Um, anyway, so we're grabbing her and the stuff, and then we got another pickup in Centerville uh, for the other company. Mm -hmm. Guess where we're not going? Where are we not going? Lorton. What? Oh, no. <laughs> So sad. Uh, she didn't win any lots. Not, not one. I didn't one. even bid. Didn't even bid. I didn't even bid. Didn't even bid? It just completely slipped out of my mind until after it was you know, already over. Sometimes you know, because sometimes you just like, get, oh. get, you get busy. Yes. You got stuff to do. And yep. you, you just lose track of time. So uh, hopefully they got some really cool stuff in their auction for tomorrow yeah. night. Um, so we're going to try to win some of that stuff. Even though we have no business bidding on anything, right, Joseph? Oh, no. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> some stuff that would be cool. I, it's probably going to go for way more than we want to spend. Um, but still, we're going to try. We'll have to show them uh, everything in our garage that we have to I'm not ready process. to do that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll add that to the end um, and kind of talk about Because I've been doing a lot of work in the garage. Not that you guys need to know this. But uh, <laughs> we have gotten rid of so much stuff. And thrown away trash that's been in there for years, right? Since we moved. Like years, yeah. 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 And uh, I, I looked at my garage, and now I can look and see everything that's in there, and I know exactly what it is, and why it's there, and whether it's going to stay or not, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, so, so still lots to do, though. Comment below if your garage is pristine and organized, because we want to be your friend and learn from you. No, we don't like those friend. people. Oh, we don't. Oh, no, okay, sorry. because they're. I don't know. I feel like there's something wrong with people that do that. I feel like it's a little pretentious. Well, personally. but but then I I say that, but my my uh, my stepdad Arnold has like an amazing oh, garage. That's true. They <laughs> do. Yeah, which I'm trying to get to. Um, so. Uh, he has been a great encouragement to me um, in this process. So I think it looks pretty good. Hashtag uh, brown nosing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on up and help, Arnold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's been nice. And uh, I'm looking forward to being able to, to use this space more efficiently. So Yeah, no doubt. Um, anyway, so that's what we got going on. Um, we're looking for coffee shops, dude. There's like no good coffee shop. There's a cafe in, but we already went to cafe in with you guys, and I don't want to go to the same place if we don't have to. But there's really not much else. We could, you know what? Yeah. We'll have our daughter with us, so we could go to a fruit fruit place. No. That the coffee's not great, but you certainly feel good when you go there because no. it's just so fancy and so pretty. What? And they have so many amazing looking desserts, and we're not on our sugar fast anymore. And so I feel like maybe we should do that. Oh, I don't know. I'm pushing for Krispy Kreme because there's a Krispy Kreme down this way. So we'll see. Okay, but it's coffee shop, not donut shop. They have coffee at Krispy Kreme. I mean, it's not great. What? But it's good. Okay. It's better than Starbucks. Okay. I mean, we could also do um, Krispy Kreme and a coffee shop. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So, no idea. Anyways, uh, so we're heading down the, to there first, uh, and uh, we got a ways to go. Um, and uh, we will be back, because I don't know what else to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll uh, see you again later. Yes, we will. Bye.
first take up? Oh, hey, we should have gotten the camper. <laughs> should have gotten the camper? Sure. Should have gotten the camper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I sell it? Hey, that's Well, no. Who's this? We're selling everything. They've updated three times in that big Oh, wow. Wow. That's awesome. Are you okay with being on YouTube, sir? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. This is going to be my brother-in-law very soon. He's marrying my sister-in-law. God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and his name's Clay. He's awesome. We like him. All right. All right, there's our sign. We have this linked in the description. If you look, you'll see the link for that oh, expert estate auction. It's very nice. Oh, our stuff? Yeah, our stuff. Oh, well, I guess we're not really picking up anything. <laughs> our daughter is in here somewhere. Oh, is she? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's a ninja gnome. That is what? Awesome. The sister-in-law. Oh my, yeah. Um, why was this not in the auction? That should have been in the auction. We would have bought that. Okay, I cannot get these. Oh, apparently the the sellers here. Yeah, they're Clay's standing over there with his. I know. Van open, so because you can go get our are. stuff. All right. Well, this oh, was a weird pickup. Right <laughs> was a weird yeah. Pickup. Well, you can grab that and bring it to the truck. Okay. Thanks, dear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll go see what we got. <laughs> so this is what happens when you buy from family, a family business. Oh, that's not what I want to do. There you go. Yeah, you'll see, we have all this stuff that we gotta take to Goodwill or a thrift store from the garage stuff that I was talking about earlier. All right, this is all for Goodwill or some thrift store. Yeah, good times, good times, brother. All right, so this is one of the things you got. It's a Navy starter jacket old school navy starter jacket very nice i like it a lot what else that too oh that's cool snap on racing look at that that's very nice I didn't know she got that. <laughs> Snap on racing. I'm going to put that somewhere. Oh, so much to do. More stuff? Another snap on jacket. She's not here to talk about it. She's over there chatting with her sister. That's pretty nice. A little snap on. Coleman. A nice Coleman coat. All right, coats are popular. Coats are good. Columbia. Columbia. Is that it? I think so. All right. And then there's a box over there. Uh, there we go. That's what we got. And I don't know what's in the box, but we'll go over that later, I'm sure. What's up, y'all? You guys see, look, look at this little 7-Eleven. <laughs> and two pups. That was hilarious. All right, when we finished the uh, first pickup, um, I took video of that, so hopefully that's on there. Um, and, uh, because it's family, she had already kind of like got our stuff into another vehicle to, to bring us, I guess. Yeah, so, and, we, didn't uh, so we didn't have to go through the house, but, but I took some videos. It was a nice little house and um, 
the, uh, the little montage I do of the of us driving up. It took what 15, 10? It, About 10 minutes. It was a yeah. long time in this neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is this? Why is it taking forever to get to this house? But it was a really nice neighborhood. I think it was bef long before they started to establish, I don't know, not cities, but census areas or whatever. <laughs> yeah. These people had already started to build houses and uh, made a neighborhood, so it's pretty nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Makaquan Creek. Wait. That's what we're passing over. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, well, but that's the river, though. The Aquaquan River is down by. Right, so uh, Creek Woodford. must go into the river. Yeah. It was really cool, though, because they were downsizing and, well, basically getting rid of everything and moving into full life. Did I just miss a turn? I don't know. No. I'm not driving. They just. <laughs> Women drivers. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's pause there for a second. Lori's actually a pretty good driver. There's a couple things that she does that I don't like, but I don't really say anything because then I get in trouble. But she is a very good driver. I can sleep when she's driving. <laughs> we were just at a marriage conference. Did yeah. you learn nothing? I thought that I said that very well. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I, anyway. I keep my mouth shut. I don't say anything because uh -huh. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, okay. Right. okay. Anyway, um, so they are downsizing, getting rid of everything, and moving to full-time RV life, which is just so cool. And it's like, well, I think you took a picture or recorded a video of it. Like, Oh, yeah, they, they the, saw it. Yeah. yeah, the rig they have yeah, is just yeah. massive and so cool. So that would... I don't know that I would want to be like sell my house and full time do RV. Um, I, but I feel like that is inevitable at some point in our future. Definitely have a home base. I would want a home base because home is important to me. But also traveling and you know the freedom to go out and do stuff. That's also really cool. Yeah. So anyway, that that was that was really awesome. Speaking of which, I am what. I got a new job this week. Oh yes. Same company. Good job. New job. Um, I start you're March awesome. 11th. Because you're awesome. And it is fully remote, which means I can move anywhere in the country. Okay. Freedom. Okay, but but we're not gonna do that. We're moving, baby. No. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We like where we live. Yeah. Any uh, of our friends watching this, we're not moving. We're not. Yeah, we're not moving. But the idea of knowing that we can, I guess, is... Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have a child that has told us that it would not be good for us if we moved before she graduates. I wonder who that could be. So, we don't want to upset her. <laughs> we could upset her. And I told her, you know, sometimes life happens and there's nothing you can do about that. Mm. You just got to deal, so... It's just how it is sometimes, you know. All right, so we're heading to the next auction. Uh, still trying to find a place. Krispy Kreme. I don't think we're going to pass it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not really going that way. No, we're not. So yeah, yeah. we'll find something. We'll find something. We will find something. It really is sad. I, I looked at Lori when I was looking. I was like, man, we just need to open a coffee shop down here. Like, I, I, there is a market. There is a market here yeah. for good coffee shops that are not, well, Starbucks isn't good, number one. Nah. Dunkin' Donuts is serviceable. But that's all there is. I don't get it. I, I mean, there, I there it. are some other options, but it's not, it's not what. But it's not a lot. It's, yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. there's just not a lot. Like, there's a, there are places where there's a lot of coffee shops, but those are yeah. like, like Vienna, Leesburg, but... And these... The Chantilly, Centerville... Well, not Chantilly, but I guess the Centerville, Manassas area really struggle. Well, Sterling has Ridgetop. Right, but really that's good. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One. There's, we could definitely have more. A and coffee the, shop I mean, human for the being love is good of too. coffee. Human being is good, too. And the power that it has to bring people together yeah. in love and harmony. Yeah. 
So there's a market. If you live in this area and you want to start a business, start a coffee shop and we will come and we yes. will drink your coffee. We will drink your coffee. Yeah. All right. So we'll be back after something, some point. <laughs> we'll be back. All right. Bye. Second house. Oh, you don't know where I brought my yeah, purse. I don't know either. That's silly. I don't know why I brought my purse. Yeah. Second house. I'm on all the, the end of this pipe stem. All right, there you go. It's a nice house too. The neighborhood's a little crowded compared to the other one, but it's a nice house. Uh, we do not have the Hulkin bags today, which is very, very sad. So, sorry, Hulkin bag. Hey everybody, guess where we're going? I bet you can never guess. <laughs> oh wait, actually, you might not guess correctly because you might say savers, but that's not where we're going. Uh, I showed you earlier we have a ton of stuff that we need to drop off, and unfortunately, Goodwill is going to be the drop off because uh, that's the closest thing. So we're here, Goodwill. We're gonna buzz through, see if we can find anything real quick. Real quick. Yes, real quick. Real quick. Super, super quick. And I get to use the bathroom, so it's okay. Oh, potty talk. Potty talk. <laughs> um, did you see back there I said we'll Uncle done. Bob's smokestack or something like that? No. You should probably look it up and see if it's good. I should probably look it up and see if it's good. Yes, dear. Yeah. See? That's Mar the appropriate answer. Marriage conference. Got All this right. on lockdown. Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, tubes to the U. Wow. We are back. We got coffee. And where did we get coffee? <laughs> uh, not somewhere local, for <laughs> sure. Not somewhere local. So, uh... As you're aware, I bemoan the fact that there's just nothing great. Like, there's no local places um, in some of these little areas that we go to. And today was one of those days. Um, so, we ended up going to, as you can see, Pete's Coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and the one that we went to happens to be by Capital Masubi, which is... Um, this is a strictly Hawaiian thing? I should know this. Musubi? Well... I don't know if it, it, it's like a <laughs> Japanese slash yeah. Hawaiian thing, I, I think. Yes. Yeah, anyways. Well, so all those islands are heavily influenced by each other, so... Yeah, so it's... Where it started, I don't know. Oh, look at... Can you... This is a... There's like a cop and a couple of motorcycle guys, almost like they're hanging out. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> How often do you see that? What up, po po? <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Oh, and then the Audi uh, TT RS. Nice. Very cool. Anyways, um, did I put that back right? Yeah. Um, so we were driving along and we're heading, um, I think Lori was heading to a different coffee shop and then I saw Pete's there and I was like, let's just go to Pete's Coffee. Let's do that one. Yeah. So we did. And and also because it's by this capital, Masubi. And Masubi is, uh, it's, it's usually a combination that has egg, uh, like scrambled egg, and, and formed into patties with Spam and rice. And then it's uh, wrapped, wrapped in seaweed. Yeah. Um, and then they put other ingredients in it as well. Um, it is delish. Uh, we really, really like it. Uh, so... We ended up going there too to grab stuff for dinner. Um, and uh, yeah, so we went to Pete's Coffee and you got, what did you get? Uh, I got a cold brew oat latte with half a splash of uh, vanilla. Just, and it's just so a half. Good. Just a half. Just a half. Just a half. Just not a, a whole. Half. 
Yeah. And um, and I'm sitting there like I didn't want to get normal drip coffee like I always do. And I was like, all right, well let me look at this menu and see what's up there. And I wasn't really seeing anything great. And then I I see these words, horchata, cold brew, uh, oh, oat latte. latte. <laughs> and I was like. He started hearing angels singing. My, Lori looked over and she's like, why is your mouth wide open? I did. And then she said, did you see the horchata drink? I was like, yes. <laughs> so that's what I got. Because I know and, and it was, it was very good. Um, yeah. You finished very, it? No, almost, almost. Oh, okay. Very, very good. And definitely a, a keeper. Man, um, I would not hesitate to get that again. Um, I don't know, I think, I think Pete's has good coffee, right? Yeah. I would say they're much better than that other place. That other place that shall yeah, remain right. unnamed. Yeah, the other place is terrible. Um, but uh, this one is good. So so that's what we got. Pete's coffee. Uh, not too shabby. We enjoyed it. Were you going to ask the other, the other person me? how she liked her beverage? Uh, how'd you like your beverage? <laughs> It's gone. Scrumptious. 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 What did you get? Um, mocha frappe. Mocha frappe. With whipped cream. With whipped cream. You know, because she's 15. That's what 15 year olds get. So, um, yeah. So that's what we did. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so now we're just heading back home. Um, I think that we are going to show you our garage. Um, as I mentioned before, I did a lot of work in there, so it's very much, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look organized when you, to the untrained eye, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> um, I know, I know what's there. I know where it's going. My heart is so much uh, better now when I look in there. Um, but we're going to show you the stuff from this house that Lori was telling, talking about briefly. Right. Um, yes. And uh, we're not going to pull out a lot of things, but we'll show you the bags and the right. maybe a couple of quick quick hits. Yeah. Yeah. Because we want to give a teaser because we're going to, we're still working out the details, but we're going to do a series basically unveiling the treasures that are in these bags. From a hoarder's house. Yeah. Because it's, it's, I've seen a lot in my years of reselling on eBay, I've never seen stuff like this. Yeah. Where it's like mid-century modern, but, you know, clothing, but almost kept in pristine condition. But guys, if you saw the house it came out of, you would be shocked because yeah. it was horrifying. Well, there's like, for example, uh, there's a package of clothing that had not been opened. Um, and it looks like, I mean, I'm 44. I don't ever remember seeing packages that look like that, um, even as a kid. And I always remember stuff having barcodes on them. Like, I don't remember a time that there weren't barcodes. Yeah. I mean, maybe there were when I was really little, um, you know, stuff without barcodes. So there's this package of clothing. Yeah, uh, they didn't become standard until the that, 80s, so. Yeah, so. It, it has no barcode on it, um, no UPC. It's you know it's funny, Joseph. Because I have no idea. The how more old you're it getting is. into this YouTube show, it, like stuff like that is new to you. Realizing that, but like for me that I've been doing eBay for so long, like I already know that. So what? it's kind of funny to me that why you got to rub it in. Like you're picking up on this knowledge and learning. I think I don't on know the stuff? fly. You think I don't know stuff? Is that well, what you're saying? No, I'm saying that you are learning stuff, so I just think that's Well, kind of, yeah. You're expanding your knowledge. I mean, if I'm going to help, I might as well know what I'm doing. Indeed. So, anyways, uh, that's just an example, and uh, I'd never seen something like that, and so I figure, I mean, I have no idea how old it is. It might be 70s, it might be 60s. No idea. Um, 
but stuff like that and dresses I that go with 70s but it yeah, could probably be 70s, 60s. Could be. Um, but still in package not open at all you know that's funny I can pretty much determine the 80s and 90s decades but that's because I lived them it's the 60s and 70s decades that I kind of struggle with yeah. <laughs> like the styles you know what I'm saying maybe we should uh, recruit my mom to yes, help us <laughs> there we go <laughs> Help us. Wait, we could, we could recruit your parents. Right? <laughs> For the 50s. <laughs> sorry, sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> love, love you. <laughs> well, they are the I definition think, of boomers. They, I don't, yeah, they are definitely boomers. I, I don't think they not watch in our show. Way. Either, they are baby boomers. Yeah, but they don't watch our show, I so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're in, um, uh, in, are we gonna do a haul? We'll show you stuff. Yeah, we'll probably do that. I don't think this is Because you showed them what we got from the one house. I showed but... them the, the jackets. Oh, okay. The, I showed the jackets. There's other All stuff. Right. And then yeah. I got some, I actually won a lot at the last house of just some tools and stuff. Nothing crazy, but uh, it had like wall anchors in it and stuff that I wanted. So uh, exciting. So I don't think that's something that we'll show you. But <laughs> There is a there was a stud finder, so I gotta you know place it on my chest and make sure it works right. Okay. <laughs> Beep. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Marriage conference, dear. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back and show you that stuff in a bit. Bye. entrance to our garage and uh, I spent probably five hours in here yesterday right mm -hmm. doing a lot of work and um, so this is personal stuff uh, this is what appears like trash and um, but you can see here's two Holcomb bags and then there's the two big ones which is why we didn't have them today and then this box is on the top of the other one um, that's just a bag of trash um, oh, this is no, not that. This. Oh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm just I'm telling people what's what so I they see. know like gotcha. that over there is bags. Like there's a big box and then a tub underneath that of reusable bags. Insane that we have that many. Um, but uh, so this stack here, this is <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? How many? How many of these big bags are there? Like this is a huge trash oh, bag. I so there's. There's like one there four. that might be half full. This one is basically full. There's this weird this. looking bag here. Yeah. But then underneath, there's more bags. Yeah. Like the huge Ziploc storage bags yeah. that are full. Um, that's recycling. No, I know, but like under here, I know. it's I'm all- I'm telling the people, I'm telling no, look the at, people. Look at, look at this. This like, is amazing. Is it's like a, is this called LeMay? But it's know. like metallic, shimmery. Oh, go, go up and open the other side too. I, I forgot. The, what are you talking about? Well, cause the dresses that are hanging up over there. Oh, oh, open the other side of the garage. So anyway, like, so there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven large bags and plus the stuff I that's just, on top. I just have to find the beginning of this thing because this is It's probably that. Gold. It's this. Oh, is that a skirt? <gasps> what? That is... That's a skirt. Look at that! All right, that doesn't mean it's worth a lot of money, but we kind of... No, 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 <laughs> but how, how cool is this? That's kind of crazy. Now, she also did sew a lot of clothes, so some of this might be her. That 
kind of looks like that's sewn. It kind of does, but she must have had... No, I think this was made by a machine, but like in a factory, but it's not branded. But how cool is that's that? That's very, very frilly. Yeah. What is and that? And like, what is this? Careful. Oh, and you just, something just fell behind you there. Oh. Which might actually go to that. Oh, it, oh it's... <laughs> Indigo Moon. Now this, I would say, is 80s for sure. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah. So... It looks like it's in really good shape, too. Much so. stuff. And then, like, this, these pajamas, they're flannel. They're just, they're in, I mean, new, but, like, the colors are just so vibrant beautiful yeah it's almost like there's no yellowing like right. this tag is yellowed but this isn't really well um, and like the fabric is but the fabric I, looks like it's even fine. when i find stuff like this at thrift stores that it's Dream. just damaged somehow Dream or Street. something yeah but like these aren't and like there's this i mean it's just so cool it's crazy yeah. is that a price tag right there Three fifty. JC Penny. JC Penny on sale now. Three dollars and fifty cents. It, that's just yeah. it's unbelievable. So like this Hawken bag is almost completely full of new in package vintage linens. So and it's not stuff that's gonna you know make us a million dollars, but even it's, at twenty dollars yeah. a piece, that's that's a lot. And so. I don't think this is anything. Oh, this is fossil with the wooden key. Oh, Look at that. Nice. And this is perfect for spring, so I gotta make sure I get that listed. Yeah. It's a really pretty bag. But this, so our our hope is that we're able to find some shelves uh, that go basically right here. Um, and one will be for like Auction. Facebook Marketplace oh, yeah, and stuff yeah. that's leaving um, that needs to go out. And then the other one will be all the incoming stuff that we have so we can have a nicer house inside. <laughs> um, but this right here, like this is a pile of stuff that needs to be gone through and figured out. This right here, not the tool sh toolbox, but um, all that stuff right there. So there's stuff in there that we got to go through. But and then, see. yeah, here's some dresses. I'm just going to grab a handful okay that's it so how cute are these very and like I'm this to, is like a i'm trying to not get my license cloth. plate yeah this is like, almost it's almost like, like a, a robe. robe yeah but, but it's, it's a dress. dress yeah um jinx you owe me a coke that's a empty Bag. Oh, I hung up an empty bag. All right. Yeah. Nice. So, so nice. That there. And then just like, look at how cute the little belted dress is. Like, can you not see a little housewife? I can't even tell if that's like... I did... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it, uh, it's just so cute and adorable. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know They're any nice. of these brands. I don't know if it's... Uh, and then there's, oh, these are all connected. They're all in one hanger. But these are three little Hawaiian moo-moos. Look at the colors. I have to see if one fits me because the Maybe dress the I brought back Do you think the lady Hawaii was... didn't fit me. No, they like to travel. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she had, she bought stuff from like everywhere she went. Cool. But. But like, I don't think she ever wore those. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't look. So. Yeah. So anyway, now we got to go inside and do our haul. Yep, so now we'll uh, we'll head in and uh, do the haul and finish this thing up. All right. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got from the auctions today. Um, first is, wow, this was actually never used. Is it Pioneer Woman? Yes, yeah, Pioneer Woman. Um, so this is their tea kettle. If you didn't know, Pioneer Woman's stuff is can be very collectible because she releases, you know, new stuff um every year or every season or whatever so um this is i believe it's a whistling tea kettle blooming bouquet and i paid like three or four dollars for this this one isn't worth a ton but you know 20 30 bucks something like that um if i decide not to keep it oh my. 
He says, oh my. We have. Okay, uh, this one came with a nice little basket. So this has, um, uh-oh. Is my son gonna need these? I don't know. Uh, these are switch controller holder things. Yeah. Um, and then we, what is this one called? Is this the, the nunchuck? Nunchuck. Nunchuck. Yeah. And then it came with uh, two games. I think I paid like five or six dollars for this lot. Two DS games, I don't know. And then like some cords and chargers and stuff. So that'll be for him to sort through and figure out the value and all that stuff. So I don't know what this is or where That was on the floor. I don't know if it fell out of something or, from. I, I'm not sure. I, oh, yes, that, I think that came from the, the hoarder house. Um, okay, then this is, I'm hoping these are in good condition. These are ski goggles. Um, Which uh, is always a good, well, usually a good. It can be, yeah, as long as there's not a ton of scratches and stuff on the lens. Yeah. And then like, these are just protective glasses. Um, and then I don't know if these are branded or not. Oh yeah, they are. They're both Smith brand. I don't know what that means. Anyway, those, those, I don't know. I don't know what the brand is, um, but they should sell for more than I paid for them. So, uh, let's see. And then in here is a Sony five CD changer. And I'm pretty sure I looked it up and this will sell for over, mm, it'll sell for a lot. And I paid six or seven dollars for it so it'll it, hopefully it works but um anyway i don't want to lift it up and show it to you so um dear could you bring over some other things for me to show uh depending on the model that looks like those things can the ski goggles can go for like 30 20 30 40 dollars just yeah depends. and i um, paid like i think i you know what let me pull up my right. invoice oh uh, which one is so i finished this bag uh, let's see. Where is my invoice? I can't find my invoice. Okay, let's look it up again. Uh, I'm just such a good um, YouTuber about this thing. Okay, yeah. so I can subscribe for the <laughs> for the ski goggles. Five forty-five for that whole thing. So that's not bad. Um, and you're saying thirty dollars each pair. Maybe. I, I mean, I just something. Hurt, yeah. Like, okay. Quick, so, so yeah. Right. So that's not bad. And then I paid ten dollars for this Sony CD changer. Um, and again, I cannot remember, but it was definitely north of seventy five dollars. It would be worth. So that's good. Um, is that all I looked at so far? Um, oh, the teapot. I paid three fifty six. So that's cool. Okay. So moving on. Okay, I got a whole Ikea bag full of DVDs and then um, some VHS. And, oh, these are actually unopened uh, blank mm. VHS. So that's yes. good. That always sells. Um, and then, so my daughter has been interested in watching Gilmore Girls. So I actually mm. got several of the seasons on DVD, um, fourth season. Oh, here, hey Joseph, here's the Muppet movie on VHS. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's like a lot of, so I'll, what I do with when I get lots like that is I'll just go through them each individually, make sure they're, you know, not worth selling online, and then I will bring them to my used bookstore and get credit and purchase things that I will sell online. So, um, and then also, and let's see, what did I pay for the whole lot of <clears throat> DVDs? I paid $6.25. <laughs> so that's worth it just to keep the Gilmore Girls DVDs and then get rid of the rest. Um, and then I got a, um, a lot of six, uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox One games. I paid $6, so basically a dollar a game. And again, I will look at them individually and see if they're worth anything and then bring them in for credit. So at the very least, I'll get 
you know, a dollar a game credit at McKay's. Um, let's see. Oh, also, did they put the Harry Potter? Yes. So I also got, um, oh. That's the remote. That's the remote the, for the Sony. Um, yeah. So I got a lot of um, Harry Potter DVDs and it says CDs. What does that mean? Like books on tape? Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize I got that. Oh, nice. I don't think these are worth anything on eBay, but McKay's probably will. Anyway, I paid $9.37 <clears throat> for that. And um, I know it, we're trying to complete the, the whole, all the movies of Harry Potter for our personal collection. So whatever's left outside of that um, will go to uh, McKay's. So yeah, this is... Um, that's cool. I didn't realize I had books on tape or CD. Um, okay, so then, all right, can you hand me this? I can't really reach that one. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, I'm, yeah, so I don't want to hurt my, I don't want to hurt myself. These old bones are not what they used to be. She needs her husband. So. I do. Oh, this your Goodwill finds her on top of it. Isn't it nice to be needed? Oh, yes. Um, okay, so we did stop in at Goodwill after we had donated, dropped off everything from whatever. And I didn't find much because I didn't really have a long time to be in there. Um, uh, family stuff going on. And uh, I just saw, I think his nose broke and they tried to fix it and I didn't see that. Oh well, hopefully he'll still sell. <laughs> so I paid $5. It's made in the Philippines. It And it's actually hefty. Um, but it's like a carved pig bowl. Like, how cool is this? And I just felt like I was channeling um, Lavender Clothesline, although I feel like Lavender Clothesline probably would have seen the flaw on the nose. Mm -hmm. Look at the flaw on the nose. I think they tried to fix it because that's like glue, and then the chip came off again anyway. So, but hopefully someone will still want it. I didn't even look it up, but I think that's just the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and then I got two um, knit uh, wool. They feel like wool stockings from Crate and Barrel. Uh, they are 100% wool, and I paid $2 each. I've never found Crate and Barrel stockings before, but I'm guessing it will sell for at least $20. So that is that. Okay. So then um, I won a large lot of craft supplies in an L.L. Bean tote. And uh, I paid $10.25 for this. I did get it mostly for the tote because it's an actual large, I can't lift it, it's really heavy, uh, a, a large boat and tote, which if you don't know, that is absolutely a bolo. It's, it's a large um, canvas bag tote. Um, this is made in USA. I don't think it's the super sought after vintage, but I definitely will look into it more just to see. The tag doesn't look like the vintage. I have sold um, really vintage ones. Um, I don't think that is what this is, but it's like the largest one they make. And so, um, you know, it's definitely worth it's probably a $50 to $100 tote, I'm going to say. Uh, but the ones I've done before, I sold one for over $300. So always keep your eye out for Boaten Totes from L.L. Bean. All right, trying to undo this knot in this bag. This is, um, let me see, vintage baseball caps by Louisville and other brands. I paid $5 for this. Oh, okay, that's so great. <laughs> Uh, commercial tire and wheel Firestone, made in USA. Uh, this one, the foam is kind of, you know, whatever. Uh, Bayer Builders. So these are just like vintage Jones. I don't even know how you say that name. Johns or Reds, something like that. And then the foam is completely disintegrated in that one. Oh, gross. Okay, I'll have to. I'm not opening that anymore. When foam from these hats goes bad, it's gross. It makes a mess. 
But anyway, $5 for all of those hats. Blech. <laughs> I need a shower now. Um, that's really good. So I don't know that I have any home runs in there, but they're all solid things. So this bag full of crafts, I have no idea what's in here. Like I said, I got it mainly for the tote. Um, but one thing that was in here is a an L.L. Bean mini boat and tote. New with tags, never used, so great. And it's so cute. Look how cute that is. Um, but this is what a boat and tote looks like just on a larger scale. So um, anyway, this will be fun to go through. Um, oh, these are nice to have. Um, lots of stuff that could be used for, I don't even know. It's crayons in here and like different types of crafts. Is that all I got? Oh, I did get that from the first one that I didn't show. Let me make sure that that's all, um, uh, that's all I got from that one. All right, so, and then, um, hey, Joseph, could you hand me that box? From the first <coughs> auction that we picked up from, uh, he showed you the coats. Um, I have, I also got a box of trains. Choo choos. Choo choo. Um, they're large, so that's kind of cool. Rio Grande. Um, yeah, there's some train tracks with these, and then I th uh, train tracks and trains. So that's kind of cool. I am not a hundred percent sure how much all of this is worth and what the brand is. Um, let me see. What is the brand? scientific toys so these are cool that's a really fun set i don't know our son was massively into thomas when he was young <laughs> and so he had like all the trains all the tracks it was it was crazy he had he had a lot so i just have a special place in my heart for trains but i hate listing trains so it's just this conundrum I love you, Percy. I know. Say, mm. I love you, Percy. That was his favorite one. Precious bud. He was very precious. He is very precious. All right, so that is what we have today. Um, yeah, another fun pickup and coffee show. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, Make sure you subscribe so that our shows show up in your feed. Yeah, because don't you want to see my face? <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And until next time.